In this video, I'll show you how to use the verb use. You can choose the verb use for many different things, such as tools, language, transportation, ingredients in food when you're cooking, medication, drugs, and technology. To pronounce this word properly, the S has a Z sound. Z. Use. If there's an S after it, this also is a Z sound. Uses. When it's in the past tense or the past participle, this D is a voiced consonant sound. D. Used. When you see this and it's a noun, then the S sounds like an S. Use. In this video, we're concentrating on the verb only. When there's a D after use and then to. When these two words are put together, use to. I am used to, and then here is an object or some kind of activity, then this is an S sound. But this is for another video. I'm using, and then here's the thing in my hand. I'm using a spatula. You often hear this verb with tools. So in this example, I use a screwdriver. This is the subject. Here's the verb. This is the object. And then here is an infinitive. And then here is the object of the infinitive. Here's a screwdriver. I use a screwdriver to fix things. Sometimes I use pliers. Sometimes I use whatever this is. And sometimes I use a wrench. I use a wrench to fix things. The verb use is for utensils like a fork. I use a fork when I eat. I use a spatula when I cook. Or I use a ladle when getting soup out of a bowl. You'll often hear use when someone is talking about language or how to put together a sentence or a question. In this example, this is the main verb. Use a helping verb to form a question. Many people use English when they travel. Instead of use, you could choose speak. Many people speak English when they travel, but this is a very good choice in this kind of a sentence. He uses a bike to get to work. You could use ride. He rides a bike to get to work, but this is a good choice. She uses the subway. You could choose to use take. She takes the subway. And many people use a car. Instead, you could say many people drive a car. But in each case, use is a very good choice. This recipe uses, and then here's the ingredient. This recipe uses flour or butter or salt. I'll use almost four sticks of butter. When talking about cooking, you might hear someone say, 
don't use too much and then here's the ingredient don't use too much salt don't use too much sugar i used two bananas to make banana bread this sentence is in the past tense here's the subject here's the verb here is the object this is an infinitive and then here is the object of the infinitive You'll often hear use for medicine or drugs. He uses medication to control his blood pressure. So here is the verb use. It's in the present tense. She uses, and then here would be a drug. You could also put here an adjective. She uses illegal drugs if you just talk about the category in general she uses illegal drugs but if you want to identify a specific drug that the name of that drug would go here use is popular when talking about technology i use a cell phone You'll often hear use with cell phones. They use computers at school. Do you use a computer at school? We use the internet. If you are on the internet, then you are using the internet. You use YouTube for learning English. Right now, you are using YouTube to study English. What do you use? This question is in the present tense. The helping verb is do, and the main verb is use. It's in the simple form. I can change this to the past tense just by changing the helping verb. What did you use? The main verb is still in the simple form. What are you using? This question is in the present continuous tense. Here's the verb be, and then here's the main verb. You can think of this as the present participle, or you can think of it as the simple form with an ing ending. Whichever one, you just have an ing after this s. Here's the verb use in the simple form. In the past tense, it's used. The past participle is used. The present participle is using. Here's the verb use in the singular and plural. I use. And then you must have an object of some sort after this verb. I use, and then the thing. I use a marker, or I use a whiteboard when I teach English. You use, and then the object. He, she, it uses. And for the plural, we, you, they, and then there's going to be an object after use. What do you use? for learning English. Your answer, I use, and then the thing. Here's the verb use in the present continuous tense. I'm using, and then here's the thing. I'm using a whiteboard to teach English. Or you're using YouTube to learn English. He, she, it is using, and then the object. And for the plural, we're using, you're using, and they're using, followed by the object. In the past tense, it doesn't matter what the subject is, just 
used. I used and then the object. This will answer the question, what did somebody use? What did you use? When you make the question in the past tense or the present tense, use the simple form. So in my question, what did you use? This is the form of the verb that's in that question. And in your answer is this used. What did you use? I used, and then the object.